today we are going to learn about online bacterial identification system for the identification of bacteria now this particular software system has been developed by www.microraw.com system enables us to identify bacteria very rapidly so coming to the introduction if we need to classically identify bacteria we basically use two kind of parameters that includes phenotypic characteristics or you can say morphological characteristics which includes gram staining shape arrangement motility endospore and various other features which can be identified by various microscopic examinations similarly my metabolic properties which is also called as biochemical par parameters some of the example of these biochemical parameters are catalase test covalase test oxidase test mrbp test tri test triple sugar iron agar test gelatin liquefaction test hydrogen peroxide production test and various other biochemical test can also be performed so usually in classical approach of bacterial identification we use combination of these two parameters for the identification of microorganism so once we have the results of all these microscopic and biochemical test we make a table with these results and there is a book called as burgess manual of systematic bacteriology so we take this book and this book is the complete database of all known bacteria so far in this set of books you will find that each and every bacteria which has been reported so far their biochemical and microscopic and cultural properties are available in this book so we need to match the morphological biochemical and even cultural data of the unknown bacteria which we are studying with the database present in this book and we need to try to find out a match for example you have identified some data and if this data is matching with book in the column of mycobacterium tuberculosis then we can say our organism is mycobacterium tuberculosis or if your data is matching with pseudomonas aeruginosa then we can say based on these parameters we can say that our organism is pseudomonas aeruginosa or something else also based on the results we are getting now just think how tedious it is to match all these parameters into this book now there might be a chance of lot of experimental error as well as it is time consuming now all of you can understand in industry if you are spending time in something if you are spending more time in something it is going to make your entire process more costly so we want methods which can reduce your work time as well as which increase your accuracy so for this only we can use microbial systems like this so in this the microbial uh, online identification system we are going to learn from use from this website that is www.micro rao.com this online system is a laboratory tool for biochemical identification based on morphological and biochemical bacterial identification based on morphological and biochemical characteristics now identification results are only informative and are not intended to be an official point of view it means this will just give you some prediction however you will have to consider many more things while you are concluding that this is the organism so it will help you to identify the organism but you cannot claim that this database has gave me this particular result so my organism is going to be like this you need to perform many more experiment before concluding the final experiment nowadays we are living in the era of molecular techniques so you might have to do sequencing you may might have to do dna dna hybridization and many other advanced methods for the prediction of the organism however it will give you quite accurate results based on these two parameters metabolic characters of the microorganism may vary inside species as you know inside one species we have various strains and these strains might have different type of biochemical parameters therefore sometimes it may give you false or false results and data might not be fully matching with the identification pattern microscopic and biochemical identification is not very accurate parameter for biochemical ident bacterial identification and we may have to consider 
phylogenetic data as just now I was saying to you when we talk about phylogenetic data it is basically we, here we are talking about our RNA sequencing or you can say our DNA sequencing so in case of bacteria we usually do 16 as our DNA sequence now how to use the software so here you can see this is the link http dot slash slash www dot micro rna micro rao dot com slash identify dot stm so you have to put this uh, this you have to copy and put this into your web browser and you need to search for it you will open up a page like this so i'm just copying it from here and putting it into my web browser and ending up onto the home page of this particular website brief information about this application or tool has been given over here you can go through this it is almost the same points which i have discussed already with you now this software this particular uh, tool online tool is can be used for various purpose so there are three major purpose this software is used for the identification of bacteria as we have discussed this software gives the identification result in percentage pro uh, probabilities of a possible organism it means it is going to give you more than one results and while considering other parameters such as growth parameters ecology I isolation source you can finally conclude your organism a matrix table can also be used to view the properties of various bacteria and to compare their properties it means in this in this website we are having various tools to compare two different bacteria or three different bacteria or four different bacteria as nowadays you guys are doing comparison of various handsets or mobile phones in flipkart or amazon websites as you can compare two my or cell phones or mobiles over there similarly here we can compare the properties of two bacteria similarly if you want to know the microscopic and biochemical properties of a particular bacteria here you can easily search it so these are various use of the software now in this we cannot category all categories of all types of bacteria here in this software we can only identify these four major categories of bacteria one of the category and the most important group of bacteria is Enterobacteria C other than this we can also identify Vibrio and related org members we can also study Pseudomonas and related organisms and the last one is Aerobic Gram Positive Properties I think all of you understand bacteriology is much more wider than this these are just few things or few microorganisms which could be studied by this software you can use other softwares which is also available online for studying a large number of bacteria now features available so one of the basic feature in this is basic identification it means we have to fill in the information of biochemical and microscopic examinations in, in the software and we can get a list of organisms possible organisms by this second is advanced identification in advanced identification we can fill in more results in basic identification the number of parameters will be less however in advanced identification number of biochemical test and microscopic test options will be high so that is one good thing next thing is if you want to know the properties of a unknown bacteria of a known bacteria like for example you want to know what kind of properties E. coli shows so you can search that in member property option and you can also compare the properties of two members like for example if you want to compare salmonella and shigella properties you can easily compare over here in this fourth option so these are the examples which will be used in this particular app so i am going to the website now so this is the website which we opened as you can see here you can see enterobacteria and all these four options are available basic identification advanced identification member properties compare properties so we can select one by one similarly for Vibrio and Pseudomonas and for gram positive profiles so here we will try to use these, these examples in this data so as per our data we are having 
gram sting result is gram negative rod shaped motel so usually enterobacteria member shows these kind of properties so we will be choosing basic identification module of enterobacteria in this case so i'm clicking opening it in a new window till open like this now it is asking me whether these tests are positive negative or we have not done it so for example we have some results like indol positive mr positive pp negative citrate negative so m indol positive mr positive pp negative citrate negative and what else is there as to as production negative urea is negative as to as production negative right urea is negative urea negative then we have done o n p g e somewhere here o n p g i think it was positive these are the results we are having other things which we are not having we can select the option of unknown if we want right but right now as we have not done we are not going to do anything we are just at the end now we are going to click on identify now and here it is showing that it is likely to match 70% with e coli 25% with inactive e coli and 2.35% with citrovector so the highest possibility of these experiment is showing that this this organism should be e coli it can be further confirmed by checking its other cultural characteristics and other properties also however this is truth my true because the properties i have collected from the book where the chapter from the chapter of e coli so it means this software is working properly just see if i am selecting the advanced identification option in this then what i am getting now here if you see we are getting number of uh, chemical test and other test options are very high over here so if you have if you are unable to identify with the basic identification system you can do many more experiments and you can fill the data and you can follow the same process start identification and you will get the list of organisms so it is the advanced form of basic identification now the third option that is member property start so again i am putting here so here in the drop down you will get lot of options of the bacteria these all are enterobacteria members so if you want to study know the properties of any of them for example i want to know the property of clapsilla this one oxalica so i'll submit it and then i can easily identify what is the possibility of different type of biochemical and microscopic test for this particular organism similarly i can select any other organism as well now when it says 99% uh, indole 99% it means that 99% uh, strains of this particular species is going to be indole positive or 99% chances are there that this organism will be indole positive and so on right next option we were having in this is compare properties so here we can also select this one here we are getting options we can select organisms like i want to compare these two organisms i can click on and we'll get a table like this and we can identify what is the difference between these two organisms so like that we have these four major options in Escherichia coli first two options are related to the identification of the organism however other two options are related to the properties of the microorganism which is already there in the database now we are going to use the second example now when we talk about second example it says it is gram positive cocais right so we have to use the uh, this option gram positive cocais so again i am going into identification option we will reach here it is asking me colony properties i don't know this also we have don't know colonies also we don't know we know the results of test like uh, coagulase test positive dns test positive oxidase test negative so we will fill them coagulase test positive 
oxidase was negative I think oxidase was negative right then DNA was positive DNA was positive phosphatase was positive phosphatase was positive ONPG ONPG is not there oxidase phosphatase arginine urease were positive arginine and urease was positive and then we have catalase catalase was also positive so whatever data we are having we will fill and whatever data we are not having we will leave it if you have more parameters then you are supposed to get better results so it is not like that you have done only one test and you can identify this so more the number of test results you are having better the results you will get so then simply we have to click on start identification so it is showing like 49 percent chances are there that our organism is staphylococcus aureus and 40 again it is showing 49 percent similarity with staphylococcus intermediates so for better identification we could do more parameters and we can identify this organism more effectively however the properties i have chosen was of staphylococcus aureus and somehow in this it is showing good results so this is how you can use these softwares for the identification of organism similarly for them member properties and compare properties can also be done same kind of things can be done for pseudomonas and related organisms and human related organisms so this is how you can use the software for identifying the organisms so benefit of using this tool as i already told you this tool is very rapid for the identification of bacteria result accuracy is very good and the very important thing is several close related probabilities can also be identified and while performing extra experiment or more experiments you can improve your improve the overall quality of your results now what is the limitation of using this tool this tool uses only micro uh, morphological and biochemical properties data and in current scenario of molecular tools it is not sufficient to predict the bacteria as on regular intervals other important aspect is on regular intervals new microorganisms are being identified which might not be the part of this database and thus can produce wrong results because you know luckily if you are identifying a new bacteria then it will not it cannot be identified by using this software however being even though it is having limitation its rapidness is very good and through which you can complete your task very quickly thank you you can practice this for learning it in more effectively